guys thank you so much for tuning in and welcome back to my channel we are back again with a lip swatch video this is from a lipstick that i have not tried before and this is a luxury brand valentino i've uh they came out with like their makeup line i think this year or maybe last year i'm not sure but i didn't try even a thing from there when they first launched I'm not sure why maybe i was like not in the mood to try i don't know what happened but i thought they came out to the set i thought this was like the best way to try their lipsticks and yeah this retails for a whopping 60 dollars it's 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 like the most expensive lipstick set i think i mean dior has a set that's 50 and then i did um ysl and i think they did two ysls so this is like the most expensive of them all this is um 60 dollars and uh yep yeah, i thought this is the best time to, do, to to try their lipstick so if you like these kinds of videos definitely consider uh subscribing to my channel because i have a playlist dedicated just for the holiday sets that i've bought that i've tried and that i'm recommending to you guys so oh this is hair sticking out and now i made it worse so uh definitely stick around subscribe and we're going to be doing swatches and then final thoughts so if you like these kinds of content consider giving this video a thumbs up it really helps my content to come up and also uh google would recommend my a video to like-minded beauty enthusiasts so yes let's get right into it so 60 dollars, and i love the sparkles and it says v sixty dollars like i said i said that so many times sorry these are the three lipsticks that you get in this and it does come with a pouch now, now the ysl set i will leave that link down below or you can just like take a look at the holiday playlist as well so that also comes with like a beautiful gold pouch but this one is like so sexy let me quickly show it to you guys um before that i will uh, tell you guys where this is made this is made uh, there are three lipsticks all three lipsticks are made in france and the pouch is not leather so it's made in china and also comes like with this gold like uh you know this keychain that is also made in china and uh i think that is it that's all the information oh and each lipstick you get two grams of products two grams is like uh three grams is i would consider full size but there are a lot of brands that come out with uh two grams of product and charge us full price for that and you get a very 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 good amount of product i would say two grams is like more than a mini so quickly let's see look at look at so sexy right so sexy and so amazing it's like oh I can't get enough of this pouch and it's structured and it's just like not falling apart and look the zipper is just incredible in so smooth so smooth and so amazing I even haven't even taken this out so I love I'm in love with this little pouch guys I'm not gonna lie the YSL pouch was like bigger and gold and it had like cute stars on it but this is so like grown up and so sexy and sophisticated I love this so these are the beautiful lipsticks so it has like red packaging on two sides and then gold oh sorry i don't want to flash you guys and gold packaging on the other two which is so interesting and so creative and i love it so love it so and like i said two grams of product in each lipstick so you get three lipsticks so uh i think this is a not a bad price given the fact that you get two grams of product this is not a mini size i would not consider this a mini size at all more than mini it's like a travel size i would say let's let's call it travel size lipstick but not a mini for sure so you get three travel size lipstick and a stunning gorgeous pouch so you get like four items four like seriously like these items you wouldn't like throw up right you would, you can actually use them so i think anyways i should save these things thoughts for later so right now i have on my favorite beautiful berry lip gloss this is uh revlon's ultra hd vinyl lip polish i love it it's so moisturizing i'm gonna take it off 
So I want to start off with the lightest shade because these do stain, the darker ones stain. And I'm in love with this shade. I really am. This is Rosso Valentino. I think this is called Rosso Valentino. Oh, wait, it has, a, this is called Roman Grace. I'm sorry, guys. This is not Rosso Valentino. Either the names at the back of the box is wrong or the names on the packaging is wrong because it does say Rosso Valentino on this. So I'm just noticing these discrepancies. So yeah, I'm not sure what the real name is. There's a discrepancy between what the, lip, the lipstick name is, but let's try these mid-tone. I really thought that I would need a lip uh, liner or something with this, but this is like my natural lip color. You can see dark brown. Colors like this usually are not that dark. And look at that. I think this is a great nude on me. And my upper lip is much darker it's like more dark brown and it beautifully covered it up and it's not ashy at all it looks so so good i am in love with these lipstick i forgot to say they do have like a scent it's not that stinky rosy scent that dior and uh givenchy has it weissel also has actually weissel has a watermelony scent so dior has a stinky rosy scent this is not this more like a flowery rosy scent i think it's very it smells amazing actually it really does smells amazing so that is it and the packaging is just your regular packaging just fyi uh, i'm sorry i'm speaking so much about it because this is the first time i'm trying these so this is not magnetic i really wish it was so these are satin lipstick and i love that this shade i everything i thought bad about the shade never happened with this particular lipstick from valentino i i thought this might be too light for me it's not too light for me at all and i think even if you have richer skin tone you can absolutely pull this off it's just leave a little bit of an outline like a natural lip color peeking through and just like apply the lipstick in the rest of your lips it does not cling to any dry patches i when i was playing around with this lipstick there were lots of dry patches on my skin on my lips and it did not cling to any of them it did not sink in the lines of the lips and for my skin tone i don't need a lip liner i love this what i really love it like i thought i would never say something like this about this kind of like a pinky tone like a pinky nude it's stunning what a gorgeous gorgeous color and it's really lightweight and very moisturizing as well so i'm not gonna say the name because there's a discrepancy this is called mini Ro mini rosso mimi rosso i'm not i'm sure i'm sorry guys these names are not even here i'm not sure what this is regardless this um this is like a bright bright red color this looked so bright like a, a red a red shade but on me it kind of looked kind of like um i don't know on in the video it's coming out red but in person it's actually a very um, i think i need i seriously need a mirror oh it's okay i'll manage kind of pulls pinky i'm not sure why is it this or that because there are two reds and i don't want to confuse so this one i think at least in the in the video it comes out more true red and that is that shade again you can see one swipe pigmentation let's take that off and the other shade there, I told you guys, it stains. It really stains. This is more of a darker red, as you can see. The reds, uh, in person, they kind of, on the lips, I truly feel they look different. But I think in the video, it's not that different, huh? I think this is a little warmer right i'm not even sure i'm not even sure anymore when i was playing around with this 
I was like, oh, they look so similar in the tube, but they're so different. But now in the video, I'm not even able to tell the difference. Uh, the first one was more pinky red. Uh, I can see in, in, in a different kind of lighting, I can see that this one, the first one was pinky red. This is more of a, like a true, true red. More of a richer, deeper red. This is more pinkier red. So yeah, those are the three shades you get. And yeah, let's talk about thoughts, final thoughts. And before that, I need to <laughs> blot out all the excess oil coming, seeping out of my skin. Let's talk final thoughts. I am in love with this pa this little set. And I do feel it is kind of all right to pay $60 because you are getting four absolutely usable items. Uh, I definitely am very impressed with the quality and the design of the pouch. I'm actually really blown away by it. I don't, I've never owned any designer purses. It's never been my thing. And to see one, which is, it's not even leather in person. And I do feel it's very, it's, they do look different. I mean, the quality and the design, everything is, it's actually different from any other like regular purses you would see in the, and department store and wherever so yeah and yes you are paying sixty dollars for four items it is like a designer brand it's ought to be a little bit expense to be on the expensive side let's talk about lipsticks if you think this is kind of excessive you don't want to spend so much on this particular set at least because there are two reds and if you're not a big fan of red I would say go for pick one color. I, I personally I would suggest the pink. It's really really good. Unfortunately, unfortunately I don't know what it's called because there are some discrepancies in the name behind the packaging and the name. But I'm just gonna go with the name on the product. It's it's called Roman Grace. That's that's what the this one is called. The pink. It's Roman Grace and it's such a great. It's a beautiful, it's not even a medium dark shade, to be honest. It's like a medium pink, but it doesn't have that white cast or this this milkiness, milky aspect to it. So it's like so amazing. And I love that even a lighter shade does not sink in the lines of the lips, does not accentuate any texture, doesn't cling to any of these dry patches. It's actually, it's a flawless formula, especially for for this particular shade i'm so so impressed so all in all i really like this uh little set what do you guys think have you tried the valentino lipsticks or any other valentino makeup what do you guys think are they really really good the others so let me know down below in the comment section i would love to know and i will see you guys very soon Bye bye